Farming is a billion pound industry in Lincolnshire as well as vegetables. More wheat and potatoes are grown here than anywhere else in the country, but it's all at the mercy of the weather. Sometimes it's unpredictable and often it's extreme. So when it comes to beating the weather, this lab is at the front line. Scientists here are developing new seeds. So no matter what the weather, there's always food on our plate. Sue is one of those scientists here at Elsom Seeds in okay. Spalding. So this is our temperature control growing room. Her job is to look after breeding vegetables. What sort of stuff have you got growing here then? Uh, well, we've got all sorts of different types of brassicas, but this might interest you. Purple sprouting broccoli. If we can produce varieties that are more robust in the way that they respond to the weather conditions, then it makes everybody's life a lot easier. And this is where all the hard work in the lab pays off. Here's a commercial variety of purple sprouting broccoli. The seed from this is sold to farmers who then sell it onto supermarkets for you to buy in the shops. Well, we've got a big field of sugar beet, which is trying. And the science doesn't stop in the labs. It carries on in fields across the county. If we look at the beet, we're trying to get as big a root as possible, but also to make it as safe as possible. If we're looking at the yields we've got now, they're a quantum leap of where we were 100 years ago. What we're looking to is 15, 20 years forward, where we need to continue to enhance the performance and have the robustness to deal with climate change and other issues that could be addressed. So preparing for the future and climate change is something farmers just can't afford to ignore. It's the extremes of weather within farming that have the biggest impact. You must stay ahead of some of those huge challenges that we can expect through climate change, through resource protection and through resource depletion. No matter how much is done to improve techniques and crops, farmers will always be at the mercy of the extremes of our weather. Sarah Crudis, BBC Look North.